standing by. Our spy plane's in the air. Hey guys, this is No Way Dude WTF. Uh, this is my second commentary, and today I want to talk about Modern Warfare 3, uh, my wish list of some sort. I'm going to talk about what I do want to see in the next game from the previous games, uh, what I don't want to see, and something new. Okay, uh, first off is the Blackbird. I really want the Blackbird to make a reappearance, but I know this is highly unlikely since Treyarch and Infinity Ward always like to keep some sense of individuality between their games, but Raven is actually doing the multiplayer and Infinity Ward is just doing the single player, so I think there's a good chance that Blackbird might make a reappearance in Modern Warfare 3. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to see return is the AC-130. I don't even really miss using the AC-130 as much as I miss doing enemy AC-130 above. I, I just brought all kinds of chills and I don't really feel anything like that in Black Ops, even with the uh, gunship or dogs. So, uh, the next thing I want to see make a return is from Modern Warfare 2, better hit detection. Black Ops is severely lacking a, a good hit detection system. I'm not really sure why that is, but whatever Dog Infinity Ward did gone. that Treyarch did not, uh, Raven needs to learn from them, at least when it comes to the game engine itself. So, Alright, something new and exciting that I want to see, uh, I don't know, something to replace attack dogs. It's a modern Warfare 3, so dogs don't really make sense in the game, but it's something like freaking attack robots, which are used and have been used for like at least the past decade, that'd, that'd kind of be nice. But, as far as the list of uh, things that I don't want, that's even shorter. I do not want Second Chance, Last Stand, whatever that was called, to make a reappearance. I mean, I guess that's probably not going to happen, but it just shouldn't be overpowered at least, as it feels like it is in Black Ops. Sometimes it seems like it's a one-hit kill. Other times I don't even see the guy withdraw his pistol before I'm dead. So, Alright, another thing I don't want to see is the overpowered grenade launchers. Those were just ridiculous in Modern Warfare 2. I think in Black Ops, that's one of the few things that Treyarch actually got right. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Treyarch, but they messed up a lot of things in my opinion. It's just that uh, the grenade launchers should not be as strong as they were in Modern Warfare 2, simply put. But, um, okay, the next thing I don't want to see, but I'm kind of hearing rumors from every place that there's going to be some premium content that they want you to pay a monthly fee for. Hopefully that doesn't include like some overpowered guns, perks, kill streaks, or anything like that because that would just turn the game into a uh, something like Gunbound. It was a really good game, great concept, it was fun, but the owners decided to get more greedy and make you start paying for things that would actually help you win the game. And now playing Gunbound is pretty much pointless unless you plan on a uh, spending a bunch of money so just would hate to see that happen in a game like Call of Duty because it's actually a great game okay. uh, alright guys this video is about to end and I guess that's all I really wanted to talk about off the top of my head but you should look out for my next video uh, it's coming out sometime by next week maybe this the middle of this week uh, I'm putting up a domination match in which I get two chopper gunners and a, precent, a pretty decent number of caps uh, in the video, I'll be doing a about me type of commentary to answer some of you guys' questions, like who is this really tall black guy that I'm listening to? I've heard that a couple times. Right, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and why. Thanks. Enemies by plane incoming.